Entering text in Outline View lets you focus on the presentation content without becoming distracted by the layout. In this lesson, you'll enter text in Outline View, and you'll create a new slide. We need to add two more slides to our presentation. When we're finished, it'll look like this. We used Outline View to enter text on each slide, and we also changed the order of the slides. Let's get started. In step one, I'll start PowerPoint. Then I'll open the presentation PPT B-1. And I'll save it to my flash drive as PPT B-QST. In step two, I'll click the Slide 2 thumbnail. We want to create a new slide below this one, so I'll go up to the Slides group, I'll click the New Slide button list arrow, and then I'll click Title and Content. And a new Slide 3 appears with the Title and Content slide layout. Now in Step 3, I'll click the View tab, and in the Presentation Views group, I'll click Outline View, and the Outline pane displays the text of the presentation. The Slide 3 icon is highlighted, and the insertion point is ready to accept text. When you enter text next to a slide icon, it becomes the title for that slide. So in Step 4, I'll type Atlantic Region Stations. Then I'll press Enter, which creates another new slide. But we just want to enter bulleted text for slide 3, so I'll press the Tab key, and that new slide is replaced by a bullet for slide 3. In step 5, I'll type Halifax, then I'll press Enter, and I'll type Moncton. I'll press Enter again, and I'll type Gaspé. I'll press Enter, and type Sussex, I'll press Enter, and type Amherst, and I'll press Enter one last time. We don't need any more text for this slide, so in Step 6, I'll press Shift-Tab. Because we're working in Outline View, pressing Shift-Tab creates a new slide. In Step 7, I'll type the slide title. And this time, instead of pressing Enter, which would create a new slide, I'll press Control enter This saves time by moving the cursor directly into the slide's content placeholder. And now I'll type in the names of the tour packages, pressing Enter to create a new line for each one. And the text for this slide is now complete. We want to change the order of these new slides, so in Step 8, I'll position the pointer over the Slide 3 icon. Then in Step 9, I'll drag the icon down, and I'll use this horizontal indicator line to position it above the Slide 5 icon. Then I'll release the mouse button, and the slides are now in the correct order. In Step 10, to exit Outline View, I'll click the Normal button here on the status bar, and then I'll save our changes. To try these steps yourself, and for some additional tips, and to learn how to check the spelling and grammar of a presentation written in another language, turn to page PowerPoint 26 in your book.